Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this episode of Megabox Mondays, I'm going to have a look at the patchy filament from KVP or Keen Village Plastics. It's a patchy filament, so let's have a look after the intro. So this filament is a patchy filament from KVP, KVP and they recommend printing at 230 to 260 degrees and a bed temperature of 70 to 100 and they don't provide the speed but i just used uh, 50 millimeters per second and that was giving me good results uh, they say here that it has the resilience of abs and some features of the pla material and this filament was working quite well for me, so I'm going to show you some of the prints. So this filament is uh, like violet in color and has some sparkles to it, like a metallic flakes. It's a really nice color. Um, I printed this retraction settings test and had pretty good results. Uh, I didn't have much stringing. Uh, there was some stringing at the topmost part and they, I was having a little bit of other extrusions at the top with all the retractions, but so the top part broke off a little bit, but other than that, the, the print was doing well. The next print I did was the bridging test, and this came out excellent. There was a very, very little drooping on the bridge, just one or two strands that were having uh, some drooping, but other than that, the bridging capabilities were doing great so the bridge look pretty good and then printed the overhang test and that also came out excellent uh, there was a slight issue here at the topmost part at 70 degrees but uh, the part was looking very good and i was quite happy with the results and then printed out those brake tests and this one is printed lying on the bed like this and this one is on the bed like this um, I'm going to try to break it to see how it goes. Um, it felt uh, rather soft. It was not very brittle, this one. Um, here I'm going to try the upright test. Um, I would say layer adhesion would be like medium on, on this break. It took some effort to break it, but not very much. So, it's a... It's quite, quite strong filament, I would say. And when I try to break this, it like bends more and it's more, uh, it's not, a, not as brittle as a PLA. So it's uh, quite, quite strong. And then printed out my maker coin. Um, it's difficult to see because it's a dark filament, but uh, the details in the letters came out pretty good. Uh, there was no, no issues. It was coming out great. And normally I print this out without any infill, and, and this is very rigid. Um, I then printed out the Otis model, and I made the error of having infill also with this model, and so I ran out of filament. Normally I'm able to print out those tests on those two prints uh, if I don't use infill on those two parts, but I ran out of filament for this. But the surface finish on this filament is very good and I have no special issues with it. It's, uh, like I said, some metallic flakes in it and it's a very dark purple color. So it's, it looks very nice and it was printing pretty good. So I was quite happy with this and I was printing at 250 degrees on the hot end and it was giving me good results and very easy to print with. So no special retraction settings or any issues like that to tune it in. Uh, like I said, the retraction test came out pretty good right from the start, so I was quite happy with this. So that was my findings on the Keen Village Plastics PET G filament that was in the latest mega box. I was quite happy with this filament. It was printing really nice and I didn't have to dial in any special settings. I used 250 degrees on the, on the hot end and 80 on the heated bed and it was sticking well to the bed. I'm using a PI seat on the Prusa with a layer of 
magic glue on top for release agent. I don't want to print patchy directly on the PI sheet. It will stick too well. So I use the magic glue as a releasing agent. And that is working quite well for me. So this will be the video on the patchy filament from Keen Village Plastics. It was a good filament and I hope you enjoyed this episode. So I will see you in the next one.